that's so much better. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is that I actually don't have problems with individuals who are mediums who can't actually speak to the dead. Um, my problem comes in when people have these sessions and they sit down and they're like, oh, you know, X, Y, and Z just came in. And it's like, I mean, I know some of you know what I'm talking about. And you're kind of like, who? I'm, I love how like my uh, incense is blowing this way now. Okay, that's so much better. So my problem comes in. So the problem that I have with people who do like an obsessive amount of readings like that or try to um, kind of capitalize off that is I'm realizing that a lot of these individuals probably have no clue who they're actually talking to or what's actually going on or like they're only able to get to so much of the information. And the reason why I'm saying that is because when it comes to mediumship, when it comes to talking to the dead, especially someone who was on a higher up scale, very well known. Um, they have people watching their gate who will dictate, who will even be able to get close enough to speak to them. And I mean, you're the same way. You have, you're supposed to anyway, be aware of who's watching your gate. So who is watching you, who's making sure that you're okay, making sure that other things don't come in unwanted, um, that you're not speaking to, or that unwanted guests aren't coming into your space and trying to bug the shit out of you. Um, but it goes a lot further beyond that. You have um, usually someone who's like watching your gate. So your spiritual space, especially if you're someone who travels to the astral realm regularly or, you know, just at it, astral projects you've probably seen them those who like escort you from one space to another um one state of being to another so it's always important to know who's watching your gate because that's who's watching you who's watching your doorways and then who is taking you to and from places because that's really important too um yeah I think I just feel like I get on here and it's a lot of like readings about stuff and I'm like that's great but you're only getting like 25% of it the rest of it is like heavy heavy occult stuff and then people go oh I'm not gonna speak on it because it could get me in trouble and it's like then just don't speak on it I mean you're capitalizing off what people want to hear and then you're not doing anything else out of fear and it's like just by moving that way energetically you've already set the tone for me you've like already set the tone like if you're gonna go in then go all in look at it look at the contracts look at what's being done look at how this person's soul is being depleted and or drained the background the entities hanging out around them the deities who could potentially be hanging out around them. i don't want to hear about you know this that and the other thing and i think a lot of people just get really obsessed with the superficial stuff and don't even bother to look at what's what's happening beyond the surface the patterns um and the way that things are kind of done and dealt with on that side of things. But then you're so quick to ask a medium to knock on someone's door, their spiritual door, and ask for access to what exactly? You don't want to know the whole truth. You just want to know, you know, what you think you know is correct is correct. Um... So it's not, it's not a very long video for me. Also, I would just like to say that there are mediums who are very good at their job. There are tarot readers who will read on a situation knowing that it's an occult situation and will strategically only read so much of, you know, what they need to and then put out the content because spiritually and energetically they feel protected enough to do so. However, they're not going to sit there and go, I don't want to say much more because like, I don't know. 
every sort of like really really in tune medium who like is well aware of what's going on is well aware of how these systems work has their gates protected um can you know go to and from really just just beautiful 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 work um either says what they need to say and then gets off or goes all in because they know they're divinely protected um or they know they're protected in general. I shouldn't just say divinely protected. I know that they're protected in general. Um, because in, in doing this type of work, you realize that you work with a lot more energies, deities and things like that, just to get to and from places, to be escorted to and from places, to be able to be in the presence of any sort of deity entity whatever takes time it takes practice <laughs> um unless they approach you first which i have seen and you know know about they do they can approach you um you can feel their energy pretty heavily for many years before you feel called to truly work with them um and when you do work with them it's usually okay yeah I've been calling you but there are steps for you to be um, my devotee so I follow those steps um, so really I just feel like it's so disrespectful to everyone who spent years and years studying their craft studying boundaries studying you know how to get to and from these places especially um if you're not going into like a dream like state so you're not actually like getting ready to go to bed or something someone who's really worked hard to get over um any obstacles they feel are in their way like dealing with sleep paralysis and what could potentially be on the other side of that um or even those who just have the gift naturally, who who knew that even though they were naturally gifted, they had to put in more work. You know, it's so insulting to be like, oh, um, Michael Jackson is here right now. Like, are you speaking to an energy that's quite similar to Michael Jackson's? Or is this Michael Jackson? Did you channel? did you meditate did you do any of these steps did you speak to whoever is watching his you know what i mean like and i'm not going to speak on who's dead and who's alive and what's what that was merely an example Ugh. but and things like that like and then there are the you you can't all be speaking to the same person i'm sorry at some point someone has to be like um it might have been trickster energy like you have to acknowledge that some of these people are just speaking to trickster energies because a lot of people will think that it's one particular energy and will do everything for that energy to make them comfortable here's your wine here's your water here's your snack and it's like yes i'm not really them but keep giving me these things, keep giving me these snacks and these water and this wine and it's so good and thank you for inviting me into your space and I'm comfortable here now so I think I'm going to show up every now and then. So my problem with these modern day readers is one, the lack of boundaries, two, the lack of respect. I feel like people just jump in and think that it's whatever. And then it just makes everyone in the community look like shit, you know, like I just always feel like there's better ways to go about things a more respectful way. And like I said, there are readers on YouTube whose readings I love, who are absolutely amazing. Um, so what I'm going to try to do when I finish editing here um, is link them below because they're pretty good at being really respectful or they come from 
a tradition or they're initiated on some level they know what they're doing they know what they're doing and I'm gonna leave it at that um just really beautiful really you feel the energy the minute you watch the video it's like this is a video I can pop off to this is something I can relate to this is this is an energy I I want to come back to um yeah and I get it entertainment we're all curious to know what happens on the other side I get it I get it as someone who has seen a lot curiosity ain't for everybody please <laughs> sometimes you want to know a little too much what's not your business okay you go knocking on doors and unleashing things all over you know people want to open up doors and don't know how to close doors when they're done talking and now so yeah I think it's a conversation that needs to be had in a, in a space because you some people truly are gifted and yes you could be talking to someone but how do you know like what steps did you take you know to be absolutely sure and given that I am not someone who contacts dead celebrities I I'm just not going to get too overly involved or overly invested. Um, this was merely a video to point out some things that I've noticed within the community that I guess people do need to be looking at when they look at any celebrity reading. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. So. So. My bad. So. I know who watches. I know who watches my gates and everything. But it's always funny because. Um they like to sit and watch they like to sit and watch me create content and so I think it's interesting because it, anyways um yeah I totally got sidetracked by them just like being so invested yeah I really just got totally sidetracked by them being so invested. Okay. I think I'm going to end the video there just because I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. There's a lot going on here. Um, it doesn't help that I did work. So that might be it too. But yeah when watching any reading any celebrity reading any tarot reading um any sort of like channeling reading just use your discernment please understand that not everyone is going to be communi communicating with everyone that they believe that they're communicating with and you know this is not to bash anyone 110 percent like some people still need to learn there's a lot to learn and that's totally fine too but be open to accepting the fact that you need to learn um, for those of you who know better and just want to push content for the sake of pushing content no comment I mean you'll get it it'll it'll smack you eventually you'll get it so this is where I'm gonna leave things I took some melatonin earlier and it's also starting to kick in so I need to just get ready for bed <sighs> excuse me
so yeah thanks for coming to my channel if you like this video if it was a vibe if you you know can appreciate the content if you agree with what i said uh like share and subscribe if you didn't like it that's fine too tell me why you know or don't you don't have to like me i'm not a vibe i'm not everyone's vibe that's i'm well aware of that um i'm just happy to be here um but yeah i think that's pretty much all i have to say um please use your discernment please stay happy and healthy and um take care of yourself i'm very tired so i apologize for all the ums in this video and normally i'd be like uh oh, scrap the video and then you know just redo it i want to post it like it is i think it's raw it's unfiltered and i said what i said i'm tired and yeah did a lot of did a lot of work today um but I'm not changing my mind about what I said I'm definitely not changing my mind about what I said uh yeah but that's that that's the video so I will see you next time and make sure to check the description box for some of those channels some of my favorites yeah I'll see you in the next one bye